what's going on, guys? Okay, so this is going to be a very cut and dry video. I don't want to do a lot of editing because I want it to be genuine. I want it to be my thoughts put out to you guys, whoever's listening. So obviously, for those of you who don't know, on Thursday of this week, this past Thursday, in America was Thanksgiving, and you're supposed to really reflect on what you're thankful for. So for me, with this being a reading channel, sorry, I just want to check the camera real quick. This is how authentic the video is. Just want to make sure it's focused. For me, what I'm thankful for it varies in so many different ways. Friends, family, girlfriend, the things I love doing, my job, um, what I've done in the past, what I'm going to do in the future. I'm thankful for a lot of things, but I feel like I have talked about why I'm thankful for reading, but I really want to hone in on the main reason why I think I'm so thankful for reading and I love reading so much. I've talked about in the past, it's like escapism, and you could share reading with another person. They're all, they all kind of blend into my favorite reason, but I think when it really comes down to it, I, it's very difficult to pick one favorite thing about reading and why I'm so thankful for reading. But I think in the most simplest of ways, it's almost like a checklist for me. It's like it's like this kind of weird log of how my life's going and what I'm doing. The books I read allow me to kind of tally the different events in my life and what's going on. So let's say I'm reading Perks of Being a Wildflower, that, and that will always forever represent the specific time and the specific person who happens to be my girlfriend that gave me that book. So each book means something different to me, and it's kind of like as I continue to read and as I continue to collect more books, it's kind of this personal accomplishment. And this accomplishment that's not only personal for me, but I could share with other people that, like I've mentioned before, the people that I discuss reading with and the people that, that kind of make me appreciate reading so much so to me it's not only like I mentioned before there's not only something that I can escape with with the reading it's thing that I can build on it's like it, it, not it, I don't even need to escape from reading into the worlds in the books sometimes I just escape to the bookshelf and, and what I mean by that is that I'm not sometimes using reading to escape from personal problems or what's going on in my personal life but it's more to kind of be with this collection that I felt like I built up. When I look at all these books and all the different books on the bookshelf, I'm proud of that. My collection is something I'm proud of. Just like white people collect baseball cards, like they're proud of that collection. To me, it's I'm proud of these books. I'm proud that I own each one of these books and I'm even more proud when I read these books. And that's how authentic it is because I said read this books and that's not grammatically correct at all. But I think what I'm trying to really say here is that no matter what the reason you enjoy reading is, no matter what's the main reason that you that you love reading, and for me, the fact that it's my collection isn't the, probably even the main reason. It's just one of the reasons that I feel like I haven't talked about too much. So what I'm, what the point I'm getting is it doesn't matter what the reason you read is. It's the fact that you read. If you're reading to read more than your brother or sister or best friend and you want to one-up them, you're reading. You're learning. You're you're doing something that's better than so many different other activities you could be doing. So to me, it's not about the reason as much. It's about well, it's about that you're reading a book. You're picking up a book and you're choosing to read it. I'm also thankful for. I can read whenever I want, right? Like if I'm I'm feeling stressed, I read and it kind of alleviates that stress. If, if to me, it's a relationship builder too, and I don't mean that only in a romantic way, but like I've mentioned in the past, me and my girlfriend. Are a big part of our, our relationship, and like I mentioned in the past, me and my girlfriend, like a part of our relationship is reading. We've connected on our reading. Our holidays, we get each other books a lot of the times, amongst other things. But the books are, are a big part of our relationship. So you could, I, I, it's a big important part of my life when it comes to building that relationship with my girlfriend. So there's so many reasons why reading is important to me. And I just, you know what, on this Thanksgiving weekend, I'm very thankful for reading, for the books I have, and the books I will read, the books I have read and just books in general to keep driving us forward. So, hope you enjoyed that little rant. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, like, like us on Facebook. Do all what you gotta do. We appreciate it so much. We have 10,000 likes on Facebook, that's awesome. Thank you so much to anyone who's liked our page. And last week's News of the Week was you. Thank you so much for your support. If you wanna be next week's News of the Week, tell me what's the main reason that you're thankful for reading. I'll see you guys next Thursday.